if we move h up to a height h plus delta h, then the path length r2 becomes, okay, initially it was r1, now it has to go up the extra delta h here and down the extra delta h here. And so the path length is r1 plus 2 delta h. Now what we're interested in is the waves arriving here. If there's a difference of one wavelength or two wavelengths or three wavelengths between them, then they will still be in phase and we will get a maximum. So here, maximum sound when the path difference, which is R2 minus R1, is equal to n lambda, any integer number of wavelengths, where n is an integer. And now R2, we've said, is R1 plus 2 delta H, and then minus R1. And so these R1s cancel out. So when 2 delta H is equal to n lambda, where delta H is the change in height, we end up with a maximum. We'll hear a minimum. when they are out of phase. So that's when one has traveled some integer number of wavelengths plus a half wavelength more than the other. Okay, at that point one of them's gone like this, the other one's gone an extra half wavelength, so what we're adding together is this and this, and those will cancel each other out. Okay, so when we have n plus a half, lambda is equal to 2 delta h, we have destructive interference. And minimum sound.